Oh, super quick. I almost forgot. Previously, uh, before I built this new circuit, I used to use this, which is just a solar panel with a, uh, a piezo soldered directly across it um, as a detector for remote controls. It's quite useful. Obviously, it, it's not particularly sensitive. You can hear there, you can barely hear the amplitude modulated output, but uh, it's, it's fine for remotes. So let's try one here. That is actually coming from that, not this device. But uh, yeah, it, it works particularly well in a pinch. Uh, it's probably actually more expensive because the solar, maybe not, the solar panel might be cheaper than the pin diode, but uh, it served me well for many years. And it's, uh, you've probably seen it in another video where I've held it up to the, um, the Larson scanner and listened to the PWM output of the Larson scanner for the, or the, no, PWM, yeah, not Charlie Plexing. Uh, yeah, cheap and, uh, cheap and cheerful. You can uh, you get the solar panel from various places, and uh, this is a Kyocera, my favourite kind of piezos because they're nice and resonant and fairly efficient. But uh, it does the job. If you uh, if you happen to have them lying around, it's a it's a useful tool anyway to have on the bench for for various projects. Oddly enough, putting a resistor across here and I fiddle with a lot of different values it doesn't make it any more sensitive. The uh, the the you know the capacitance of the piezo drains back through the um, the solar panel between cycles, so. It's not like a, uh, a detector for a, um, a receiver, like, like a crystal set where it's better if you load the diode. No, it works, works fine just like this. Uh, another alternative is to hook up the solar panel directly to an audio amplifier. So you can either use uh, Day 2's project or you could use uh, one of those audio amplifiers that uh, they used to get from Tandy's or uh, RS, I guess it is for people in America years ago. I don't know if they still sell them, but uh, one of the more useful little uh, gadgets, you can always, you know, build this circuit too because it, it works pretty well. Oh by the way it took um, apart these speakers finally and they're 4 ohm they're not 32 ohms so this little amplifier is doing pretty good to drive such low impedance uh, load of about 8 ohms which I guess is what you know the typical speaker used to standardize around 8 ohms but uh, the Mylar speakers at 32 ohms are far easier to drive for a, uh, a circuit like this AB class 1 here. Alrighty um, my video editing software is not behaving itself, it's crashing, which is quite annoying, so I might have to upload this as a second video, but uh, we'll see how we go. Alrighty, bye.